Hello guys, this is Bliss from Compute Hustle. Today we'll be talking about how to get started with setting up MapReduce and Apache Hadoop inside of IntelliJ so that we can start writing some MapReduce code and getting started with a bunch of data analytics stuff. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna open up IntelliJ. So let me just bring that up right now. And what we're gonna do is start a new project that we can work with. And of course, it'll be the same as we usually do it. It'll be in Java 1.8. And let me just go ahead and start that so that I can start talking about this. So I've chosen the latest version I have of Java 1.8 just to be safe in case we are, uh, in case Java 11 isn't compatible with the latest versions or whatnot uh, of Hadoop, that is. And we're just gonna go ahead and make sure it's a Maven project. So if you haven't clicked that, make sure it's uh, Maven. And we're just going to click next from here. And I already have a folder for my project, which I call Hadoop example, but feel free to call it whatever you'd like. Uh, and make a make make sure it's a in a proper uh, proper location for you. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And once you've created a project, you should get something similar to this page. And what we're basically going to be doing is um, first we'll be doing the imports for uh, for Hadoop. So firstly, let's go ahead and get started writing some code. So we're basically going to do the dependencies for this. So first we want to include the Maven repository. So we're going to create a new tag called repositories. And then inside we're going to create a repository tag. And inside that we're going to do ID Apache, and we're going to do URL uh, HTTP slash maven.apache.org. And below this, we're going to create some dependencies. So I've actually just got these memorized. I would usually look them up, and you can go ahead and look them up after this. But um, I, I already have them here in front of me, so I'm just going to type them out for you guys. So your group ID is going to be org. Apache.hadoop and your artifact ID will be Hadoop core. And then, uh, as of this recording, the latest version I'm pretty sure is 1.21. Go ahead and fact check me on that. And uh, you can go ahead and check up uh, on these artifact IDs, group IDs, uh, these, these dependencies on your own for Hadoop. Just go ahead and Google that. It shouldn't be a big deal to update it to the latest version for you. So I'm going to create a second dependency and it's already created everything for me. And I'm going to create, um, oh, actually it's already done for me. So for group ID, I'm going to create um, org.apache.hadoop and the artifact ID will be hadoop-common. And then for our version, I'm going to select 3.2.1, which is probably like the most uh, recent version for us. And then after that, I'm just gonna import the changes. And after this is done resolving, we should be ready to get started creating our project files. Okay, so I'm gonna open up two tabs. Uh, one of them is a Google link for um, the official Apache Hadoop documentation page which has the code that we want to copy and paste. Uh, it's a basic word count class. And I'm going to be going over how you can edit it and do whatever else you want with this MapReduce code in your next, in our next, uh, our next video, sorry. Uh, and for now, we're just going to be copy and pasting it into our product directory. And we're going to create a new file called, a new Java class called word count just to be consistent with the with the sam sample template code. And we're going to want to add a configuration for this. I'm actually not too familiar with how, so I'm just going to run this. And it should give us a new configuration file here. Uh, but it should throw an error since we don't have an input and an output. And you can see that uh, we're actually being asked to give an input and an output path. And these are actually these are actually directory paths. So um, 
what we're gonna need to do is create an input directory with the file that we want to do word count on and we're gonna have to leave the we're gonna have to just set the output directory name and it'll create it for us so to do that we're gonna have to specify our arguments inside of edit configurations after we've ran our word count class it's created this configuration for us so all we need to do is add in program arguments input output and it seems really easy be, but because basically we're just we're just specifying the directory names. Uh, our program is gonna work with all the files inside of our input directory, so you don't really necessarily need to worry about what you name, what your input files are. So we're just gonna do that. Uh, I think I hit okay instead of apply. Let's just hit apply. All right, it, it should be applied. And I'm gonna create a new file called, um, a new directory called input. And inside input, I'm gonna create a file called uh, lorem ipsum dot text, and inside my lorem ipsum dot text, I have this other website here, lorem ipsum dot com, or sorry, lipsum dot com, and I'm just gonna generate five paragraphs worth of words. So lorem ipsum is just a fake word generator, or typical word generation thing, and we're gonna pass this in, and save it like so and our program should digest it as is and by itself this this should uh, theoretically work uh, and yeah this should be us running our first MapReduce program even though you guys don't really know what's going on here I'll explain it in the next video but for this one we're just gonna want to run something so let's go ahead and run it we have our input path and our output path specified so it should work properly this time so let's just run this as it is. And we can see something's going on here. And we have an output. So as you can see, something actually got outputted from this. So let's go ahead and take a look. And as you can see, there are a bunch of words here with their occurrences within the file. And just true to the program name, it gave us the word count. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, you guys should be ready to start editing this code and writing your own MapReduce code. And we're going to be going over the syntax and what's going on and all the juicy details in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, even though it was kind of short. I hope it was useful. And I'll see you guys in the next one.